So my third recommendation was, and this is the, the one that is a yawner, I'm sure, is uh, live a passion-driven life. Uh, pe attitude is everything. Uh, most people I know are, uh, you know, they're, they're worried about the zombie apocalypse. I think it's already happened. Uh, just walk down the street. People are hardly even alive. Live a passion-driven life. Uh, you know, I like to rejoice in the extreme unlikelihood and fragility of my own existence. If you think about, you know, the chance of your existence in the state you're in now, it's vanishingly unlikely to have happened. Literally thousands of pairs of your ancestors had to be smart enough and good enough looking to find <laughs> mates and <laughs> propagate. This is all just phenomenally unlikely. And uh, I, I love all that about the story. And, um, you know, p p people sort of nibble on life's edges and, uh, and act as if it's a dress rehearsal for something. It's not. As, uh, you know, the, there was a musician, uh, I loved his comment. You know, he was his name was uh, Warren uh, Zevon, and he was dying of lung cancer. And he, he, w he was a, a frequent guest on the David uh, Letterman show. And uh, it was clear that his days were very brief. It, it was his last visit, you know, his voice was raspy and he was struggling. And uh, Letterman asked him what he had learned, if anything, from his pretty intense uh, experience with a terminal lung cancer. And there was a pause and he said, uh, he said, well, uh, he said, you should enjoy every sandwich. And, uh, you know, that's pretty good advice, except skip the bread, you know, just take the sandwich apart, you know, <laughs> don't, don't eat the bread. 